Hi, I'm Emma, one of the owners of Plenty at the Square, the vegetarian cafe at South Square. One of the things I'm really interested in is uh, foraged and wild food. I've always been interested in it. And spring is a great time for foraging. As all the shoots and buds are, are at their juiciest and tenderest. So what I'm gonna do is take you on a little wild food safari and we're gonna have a look at some common edible plants that you can make salads and all sorts of other delicious things out of. So come with me and we'll take a walk. Yeah. These are common hedgerow plants, so it's not quite ready yet, but you can just see the buds coming, which is um, their elderflower buds are coming. You can make some really nice cordials from elderflowers, and later on you can use the berries in cordials as well. Got very good antiviral properties. We're just in our wood, which is about 20 years old now. It's a really peaceful place to be. Yeah, lots of birds. Here's another common edible plant. It's got a really strong flavour. This is sheep sorrel and it's got like arrow shaped leaves and it's got a very very citrusy flavour and it's really good in soups and a little bit in salad and I've put it in quiches before. It's a really nice flavour. Here we are by Pinchbeck, which is part of Bradford Beck. I'm looking at a, a little stand of Bistort, which is a spinach-like plant that you can eat. And people in Calderdale make a thing called dock pudding at Easter, which is quite well known over there. Um, so there we have it, Bistort. Here we've got nettles. Nettles, the young tips, the, the shoots of these are really nice in soup. Um, and they've got a lot of minerals so they're really good for you a lot of minerals and iron and good things but they're really hard to pick so you have to wear gloves to pick them but you only need the very young tips otherwise they're a bit stringy yeah. ah, it's coming out in flower now look these are great plants that around at this time of year um, it's sweet sicily it's got a very strong aniseed flavor and the distinguishing feature of this do you want to get close up to there are these white splodges on the leaves and you've got to be really careful with this family because it's quite closely related to a very poisonous plant called hemlock so you've got to be really sure you know what you're doing here and there's little the little white splodges at the leaf bases are the clue and it's got a really strong aniseed flavour yeah here's some more sweet sicily you can see the flower coming out it's really nice frothy creamy flower here we've got in amongst all this bistor there's a little pink flower here um pink purslane this is and the leaves, the very little leaves, taste a bit like lettuce, so a really good salad, salad plant. And they've got a beautiful little pink flower, bright green leaves. A load more to stalk. We're going to go this way now. Here's a view towards Green Lane. This is a familiar plant to a lot of people, and you can smell it in woodlands through. Uh, um, April, May and spring. It's a uh, wild garlic and you can use it to make the, use the leaves to make pesto. You can use the flowers as well. You can put it in salads, cook it in omelettes, things like that. hope you've enjoyed our little walk down the woods and our little look at some wild, wild food plants and I really hope you get a chance to explore the local area yourself while you're in lockdown. Okay, bye!